the next thing we're going to tie then is going to be an, an emerger. And this is a fly that is extremely popular up in the Montana area. Uh, and it's called a wonder nymph. And I've been a, using it a lot down here uh, locally and in the eastern Sierras. Works extremely well. Again, you can see I'm using a very wide gape hook because I want that hooking capability. And again, I'm going to use the cream thread. Now we're going to start off just exactly like we did before, nothing changed. Again, I'm going to do a little build up. And I'm going to use some soft material for the tail. When you say soft, you're grabbing very near the inside end of the harrow. I am. Okay. So again, I want it to move and pulsate. This particular pattern I have found to be extremely successful in almost all conditions. Now that didn't come out right. Okay, now I can either choose to use wire or not use wire on this, and I'm not going to use any wire. So all I'm going to do is just build up, because I'm not going to be building up much, I'm just going to use the cream thread on this one and build it up. This, at the next point is where this becomes unique in, a, in what we are using. Um, all of you love to tie dry flies, don't you? So what do we do is we get, we get something like this, and we tie our dry fly with it. And what do we do with this last part of it? We throw it away, don't we? Now you're going to save every single one of them. Because that's what we're going to put in next. Let me find the correct one that I got off of here. So I'm going to tie this in so when I pull it over, it's going to match up. So now what do I say? Now I have a little box to put those in. I'm just going to sweep it back a little bit and get the position where I want my dubbing to start. And again, I've already got this dubbing out and using it, so I'm going to use it. Again, I want to, I'm going to turn it over so I can see what my buildup is under, underneath. Because that's really what I'm looking for is that a certain size. And space a little cramped, so I'm going to back off a little bit. All right, so now I have this little soft portion here, and all I'm going to do is push this over. So it lays right straight on top, tie it down, and now what I have is I have a mayfly that looks like when it's in the water because it's soft, it's going to pulsate, and it looks like it's going, to, it's an emerger trying to get the surface or breaking through the shark. I would say I use this fly more for as an emerger than any other fly that I have in my fly boxes. Okay. 